So shall we start our presentation? So thank you for your in in introduction. I'm Hiro Kutsumi. I, I'm director of a Digital AI Technology Center in Pacific Holdings. Actually, Christopher, who is automatic CEO, and I have a deep relationship for five years. As you know, uh, he was a, a formerly a CEO of Arimo, uh, which is our wonderful AI analytics subsidiary in Panasonic North America. We continuously collaborate with Automatic. Today, it's a great pleasure to introduce our Panasonic AI engineering with Takashi. Hi, I'm Takashi Kawamura. Um, I'm in charge of a general manager of AI solution group. Uh, Hiro is my boss. And uh, actually, I've been in Bay Area uh, for uh, three years, since 2017. Um, as a director of a Panasonic Silicon Valley Laboratory. I'm happy to present you uh, our AI achievements. Thank you. Okay. So the next slide. Yeah. So this is an overview of our entire Panasonic group. We shown in the left are uh, responsible for, are responsible to provide AI solution to business operating companies shown in the middle. We have many products and services in a wide variety of business areas, such as home appliances, air conditioning, refrigerated showcases, office spaces, in vehicle products, building materials, and so on and on and on. So there are also many opportunities for applying AI to business. The next slide. This is today's agenda. We will introduce Panasonic AI policy, AI applications, the way of thinking of AI engineering, uh, for innovation, and our future direction. First, Panasonic AI policy. We believe that the four elements shown here are necessary for promoting AI business implementation, which are compute, algorithm, unique data, and domain expertise. The two on the left, compute and algorithm, are rapidly becoming commoditized. As you know, compute becomes commoditized due to the rapid spread of GPU and uh, high-performance PC algorithms in, in the same situation. These are easily available to anyone in the world. On the other hand, the two on the right, unique data and domain expertise, can only owned by companies who are actually doing business. Especially, domain expertise is a wide range of specialized knowledge in that business area, which could be more powerful strengths for traditional enterprise like at Panasonic. This is strongly aligned to the concept of a knowledge first AI. Next, please. In this context, we often used tools and carpenter metaphor. Next, please. First on the side, on the left side, we think AI is a tool, and we adopt the idea of quickly procuring top level technology as a tool and actively utilizing them. The carpenter on the right is a metaphor for us engineers. Carpenter knows what kind of house the customer wants. The carpenter knows the troubles of the customer and the capital knows what kind of house is comfortable and durable. And capital knows what tools to use to build a house. Like that, capital should pay a role of solving business problems at the site by utilizing best carpentry tools. Next, please. Okay, um, Takashi again. Uh, I'll explain our uh, many AI applications in this chapter. 
And as we've shown, uh, we have various kinds of business fields. Uh, but simply speaking, uh, we can classify them as life solutions, B2B, and mobility. And first, let me introduce applications of life solutions. The mirrorless camera Lumix uh, uses AI subject recognition technology for the autofocus function. Um, in addition uh, to uh, conventional face AI recognition, uh, in recent years, human body recognition, head recognition, and animal recognition, corresponding to birds, dogs, and cats, are also available. Okay, air conditioner area. Sorry, we sell it only in Asia and Europe. Uh, this product is equipped with an AI that pre precisely controls the indoor temperature and the energy consumption. Uh, we collaborate with Weather News, a well-known uh, service company of weather information in Japan. Um, AI automatically captures and analyzes weather data, uh, anticipates future air pollution, and automatically starts air purification. In addition, AI supports the decision of whether to leave the air conditioner on or off, especially effectively in case we go out for a short time. It also predicts future electric bills and the room temperature using the AOLIA app's on-off decision function. It always shows you which is best for you. The cleaning robot ruler, also sold in Asia and Europe, sorry, and is equipped with an autonomous control function uh, using a 360 degree laser sensor. Self-localization technology is implemented. By creating a highly accurate indoor map, we can improve the complete performance of cleaning, divide appropriate uh, areas of by AI, and efficiently run rounds and routes for each area. Therefore, every room and corridor can be thoroughly cleaned mostly reducing the amount of garbage left behind. Next, I'll show you applications of B2B business fields. Now, many of retail stores, uh, manufacturing sites, and distribution centers listed here uh, still rely on human know-how for their operations. As a result, various types of wasted operations are found out. For example, in the case of a retail store, the receipt of goods, inventory management, and display. At manufacturing and logistics spaces, the movement of people and goods related to carrying in and out of goods and warehouse management. There is still room for AI to play a role in visualizing these using various sensors such as cameras and proposing optimal layouts, process, and schedules we call it site optimization. Since Panasonic has been uh, in the surveillance camera business for many years, we have a long track record of developing facial matching technology. We use this to streamline immigration control at airports and provide face matching gates that automatically match passport face images with actual facial images. In addition uh, to uh, the high accurate of face matching performance, the high usability unique to Panasonic home appliances has been highly evaluated. For better person authentication, uh, we have also been working on uh, developing speaker identification technology. In a speaker recognition evaluation conducted by National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, in the United States, our proposal model achieved the world's highest level of recognition performance in both voice alone authentication and multimodal authentication combines voice and facial images. As a result, robust personal authentication can be provided even in environments where faces are difficult to distinguish due to lighting conditions, etc. Okay, this was introduced in the previous session, Cold Chain Solution, Escubo. Uh, this service is one of the most advanced business application cases of AI technology in the Panasonic group. So uh, please ask to Raja and Seiya later in detail. And uh, this is also important. Uh, in recent years, a cyber physical system has been constructed in automobiles, homes, 
factories, buildings, etc. In such systems, countermeasures against cyber attacks are essential because cyber attacks spread to physical space and lead to human life risk. In particular, IoT devices have a lot of unique communications, so original measures are required. Therefore, Panasonic has applied AI-based anomaly detection for cyber attack detection that focuses on IoT device control commands and networks, as well as security information and event management for IoT that enables efficient analysis. We also provide control system monitoring called Security Operations Center service. Achievements have been presented in various international academic conferences for automobiles and industrial infrastructures. Here, I'll show you applications of mobility businesses at the end. Okay, in response to the labor shortage due to the aging population in recent years, we have uh, been conducting a demonstration experiment over delivery service for residential areas using small, low-speed robots in Japan. So far, for the first time in Japan, one operator has remotely moni monitored four vehicles simultaneously while driving on public roads and a delivery service from stores to homes using automated driving robots has been demonstrated. And in this April, we obtained a road usage permit for complete remote monitoring and operation on public roads based on the standards set by the Japanese National Police Agency for the first time. It means that the system is trusted to be secure. During the 1,200 kilometers running demonstration experiment, we've improved the recognition ability to detect moving objects such as distance people, nearby vehicles, and objects falling on the road. We will also improve remote monitoring and operations that operators can intervene remotely and take appropriate measures even in an emergency. Electrification of mobility is progressing as a countermeasure against global warming. However, some electric mobility vehicles do not always display the remaining battery level accurately which can lead to unexpected power outages. In addition, there is a possi possibility that the time to replace the battery may be overlooked because the change, a ch change over time of the battery cannot be noticed. As a result, customers may be the inconvenience of suddenly being unable to use mobility. Panasonic has accumulated data and know-how in battery development Using these, AI and the cloud, we have developed UBMC service that monitors and visualizes the battery's operating status in real time and quantitatively. We will contribute to realize a society where people can use electric mobility with peace of mind by being freed from problems caused by batteries. In this chapter, I'll explain our current concern, AI engineering. Recent, recently, we've noticed that just giving cutting edge technologies and educated engineers are not enough to encourage to apply AI for our products. Our AI engineers often say how to collect data, how to annotate it, it means with reducing costs. Others say how to manage quality, we cannot deliver AI models as a product because of the anxiety. You know, we are a hardware manufacturer and the quality control of our hardware products has been thorough. But AI is a black box. It brings us irritation. We are now thinking that we should provide efficient data and annotation procurement solution and on-site AI master engineer who has a specialty of AI development process. Concretely, we are saying AI engineering is important. The figure is a flow chart of AI development process. The concrete solutions are AI ethics, small data training technologies, AI quality assurance with MLOps, 
uh, with various business applications of AI, we are accumulating AI development know-how and uh, making these solutions in a way that match matches us. So AI is a use useful tool, but there's a risk that it may sometimes harm customers. As you know, there have been many cases of pain to customers related to AI ethics. Panasonic Group started considering AI ethics in 2019. We've discussed what we should think about along to our products and how the governance should be. We finally announced the AI ethics principle shown here based on the concept of human-centered AI on this August 29. In order to cover Panasonic's wide range of business areas, our company's original efforts include the construction of an AI ethics risk check system that can be used in each business field and extensive implementation of all employee education. Okay, lack of data is a major issue in AI learning. Uh, it often happens to give up to apply AI due to the inability to collect data. For example, when developing pedestrian detection, it is difficult to collect data on objects that appear infrequently, such as children and strollers. It also happens in case of collecting anomaly data for visual, uh, visual inspections in factories. Data augmentation is a technique to inflate hard to collect data like these. However, simply doing data augmentation can be counterproductive. We proposed AutoDO, a technology for deep learning that automatically adjusts optimal data augmentation parameters according to the distribution of learning data. We believe that it brings us easier to apply AI to fields. Okay, quality assurance is unavoidable in practical applications. Quality means producing a level of performance that satisfies customers. We need to be able to demonstrate performance without omissions and failures in all usage scenarios, not just champion data. That's why we need to build quality assurance process together with our customers. Because AI is a black box, we must proceed with development while gaining the customer's understanding of the causal relationship between the learning data and the results. Explainable AI is one of the approaches to solve such black box AI problems. We visualize the basis of AI results with high accuracy and introduce it to our countermeasures against false positives. Causes of false positives, which were previously estimated based on engineers' intuition ex experience, can now be instantly identified, shortening the time to improve AI models from two months to one month. We also have formulated a false detection countermeasure process that can be operated even by non-AI engineers. As a result, we are now able to satisfy car manufacturers with strictest quality requirements. Future, we will implement these tools in ML Ops. Okay, we combined with open innovation in order to accelerate our AI engineering. On the previous page, we explained that AI is a tool. As you all know, the evo evolution of these tools, especially deep learning, has been remarkable. I believe that it's important to quickly obtain practical AI as tools that brings carpenters, AI engineers, to work with efficiency or better performance. Open innovation with top level universities is the key. We have an AI laboratory in Mountain View to keep up with the latest technology. They have been working on deep learning technology since around 2014 and have achieved practical results. For example, real-time multi-object detection and explainable AI are their outcome and we applied them for automotive and robotic system. We also have strong ties with universities in the Bay Area. Stanford used to have our visiting scholar. And in 2021, we started a collaboration with UC Berkeley on the joint research theme framework, Bayer Commons, covering six AI themes. In each case, 
while setting the themes with practical applications, we are achieving results in the adoption of papers at world-class international academical conferences. With UC Berkeley, I'll introduce two themes. The first one is unsupervised object detection applicable to different domains. Recently, detection transformer and end-to-end -end object detection pipeline has achieved promising performance. However, it requires large-scale labeled data and suffers from domain shift, especially when no labeled data is available in the target domain. In this figure, as a real problem case, normal scene is the labeled source domain, and foggy scene is that thought as rare and unlabeled target domain. To solve this problem, we propose an end-to-end -end cross domain detection transformer based on the mean teacher framework, MTTrans, which can fully exploit unlabeled target domain data in object detection training and transfer knowledge between domains via pseudo labels. Extensive ex experiments demonstrate that our proposed method achieves state-of-the-art performance in three domain adaptation scenarios. This research is accepted in ECCV. Another important theme with UC Berkeley is knowledge transferable, transferable for our black box optimization. Panasonic business consists of many expensive to evaluate process, which we need to optimize, but hard to accumulate large amount of data in advance. For example, industrial robots, production lines, new material discovery, etc. This kind of problems can be interpreted as a problem of black box search with few trials. This problem is very challenging as we don't have any data in advance for the target system. So we are now trying to develop this, which extracts reusable knowledge about black box function from auxiliary data that is not so accurate, but easy to accumulate. Then the extracted knowledge is used as a prior expectation to find a global optimum efficiently. We believe that this is one of the key technology to reuse knowledge across multiple business process in Panasonic. Okay, uh, last slide. So Hiro, please. Okay, as we have introduced so far, we are trying to accelerate the application of AI to business by incorporating cutting edge AI and making it practical tools for engineers at each operating company. However, there are some remaining challenges. One of them is that the domain knowledge that has been cultivated over many years cannot be applied to AI models effectively and efficiently. Until now, we had to no choice but to do it through trial and error. But in recent years, there have been some uh, ideas such as MT trans, knowledge transferable BB optimization, and the movement to accelerate knowledge transfer by uh, writing text sentences using natural language processing. The topics, as well as automatic and knowledge first AI concepts, are quite interesting for us. We hope we share our each example and get some hints of future direction for each other. Thank you very much. That's our presentation. Thank you. Thanks for a great talk, uh, Takashi and Hiro. Um, Take any questions uh, from uh, from the audience? I, I'll start with a question, actually. So um, for both of you, so Panasonic, um, to me, represents sort of like just this great brand which has sort of like trust and high quality associated with it for a very, very long time. Um, with the introduction of AI, like we heard about today, like how the corporation is thinking about all this, what do you both see as sort of the challenge for the company to preserve that brand and about how your customers look at you as 
or it's a trustworthy, high quality company. You know, it puts out great products. So what do you see as the challenges then? Thank you for the question from me. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think um, that's the uh, point that I introduced as a quality assurance of AI because um, uh, uh, actually it is very hard for us to, how to say, quality assurance for AI because um, it is not accustomed to us. So, <laughs> um, but on the other hand, um, many, many testing data uh, prepared uh, is the uh, traditional way. But I think um, it is not efficient for us to uh, deliver our products quickly to our customers. So I think, um, actually speaking, it's ongoing. But I think um, uh, MLOps can be one of the solution for us to uh, develop uh, efficiently. So uh, that's our current way of thought. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, this might be a bit nit 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 nitpicky, but I noticed a lot of your existing AI products, like the air conditioner, the cleaning robot, were specifically deployed in Japan and in Europe. And I was wondering, what are the major barriers to getting those products into the US? Uh, for consumer areas, camera is a very <laughs> famous. Uh, uh, and uh, almost B2B businesses uh, existed in US. Uh, so um, not well known, I think. But uh, cold chain, not, not cold chain. Uh, maybe uh, fr freezing products are there, but um, not, not imp the implemented uh, AI still. But well, other things is um, maybe, maybe less case to be applied AI. So. <laughs> Uh, sorry, so worldwide, we are now conducting. So that's, a, that's the situation. Any other question? Yeah, so uh, you talk about the, the robot may harm for the human. So is there any uh, re uh, prevention or any idea to prevent this by the human knowledge? Because we already know which uh, action or some something can harm the human being, right? I think that's very hard, quest difficult question. Um, now, actually, we are trying to solve it, uh, human in the loop. Uh, as as you, you see in my slide, um, the demonstrated Robotics, delivery robotics. Uh, we, we we try to use um, efficient operators. Uh, how to say process itself. So um, uh, currently we achieved uh, uh, controlling four op operates four robots per one operator, but uh, we have to uh, how to say a uh, brush up the efficiency itself. That we we don't fi find any other ideas yet. So um, please teach me, teach us <laughs> if you have any suggestions. Okay, so uh, we ran a bit over, but it was a very, very good session. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much.